What is going Carnage? My name is Espresso and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video here today on the channel. This one we got some absolutely killer gameplay here for you guys. I know you guys definitely will love this one. This gameplay brought to you by my man Carnage Chain. You guys know him, you love him. So show him some support and some love by dropping a like down below on the video. And if you guys do want to, make sure that you go check him out. Seriously, his channel is absolutely awesome. Got some incredible content. You guys definitely will love it all. I guarantee you that. I promise you that you will love his stuff. But as well, if you'd like to check out my channel, I'm on the road to 30,000 subscribers. So it really does help me out and is greatly appreciated. But of course, change the man here. Make sure you show him some love before me. But this one, he's bringing us a quad nuclear on Metro. Rocking the Razor back here, we'll see the class setup on screen for you guys that you guys want to replicate it or anything like that. You can go for some killer gameplays here like Shane always does. Definitely up to par with what he usually does here and a quad nuclear is, is beautiful. There's no other way to put that. Now, playing some hardcore domination, he's going to go absolutely off and if you guys didn't notice by the title quad nuclear, well then that's something that we need to reevaluate everything here. But going off nonetheless, he's gonna be rocking the UAV, the Guardian, and the Hater. A great amount of streaks here for the support to not only help himself, but his team out as well. And I gotta say, it works out quite well for him here today with this. But shifting focus now just a tad, I wanna talk to you guys about something within the Black Ops 3 community. The gameplay in the background will of course still be going on, so make sure you go check out Shane once again. His channel is down there in the description below. He definitely deserves all of your support. But what I'm gonna talk about today, we're gonna be talking about the 10th specialist, and this one may be some news that you guys don't wanna hear, but it's news nonetheless here that we wanna talk about. Now, take this with a grain of salt because right now we don't have an official confirmation here for it, but we do have some information that may hint towards the 10th specialist being in supply drops and maybe even in supply drops only. Now the Spanish YouTuber Yorio, this is where this comes out of directly. He went on a support ticket with Activision and said that he got the 10th specialist, but to confirm they wanted to know exactly how he got it. So he said that he got it out of supply drops and they seem to go along with it here, hinting that that was the way to get the 10th specialist in Black Ops 3. So it might look like the 10th specialist is confirmed in supply drops. What started as a joke in a meme might actually be the case. Now, this isn't exactly 100% confirmed in any way, shape, or form, like we said earlier in this, but it is something that is very alarming and, of course, very concerning. But the positive is that this is just a rumor at the very moment. That is the glimmer of hope that I take away from this, that it is just a rumor. Right now, there's no official confirmation, and we may think it is that sort of confirmation that everybody is going to blow up on, but Activision support has been many a times been wrong and stuff, and they're one of those things that have actually become a meme in some regards as well because they don't know their own stuff. So it's possible, and I say possible because I don't want to get anybody's hopes up just in case it does turn out to be the case, which a lot of people do believe it will be. If it is something that we can get our hopes up and look for the positive in, it's only a rumor at the very point in time. But regardless, here's the thing. If that positive can be expanded a little bit, what we can kind of look forward to is the leak that came from Reddit a couple of months back here, where somebody said that they were friends with a developer over at Treyarch here working on Black Ops 3. And so far, a lot of the stuff that they talked about, which at the time was not available information, was stuff that actually came true here. So from there, the leaker discussed that there would be maybe two specialists coming, one for sure, but maybe a second one or an 11th specialist later down the line. But he mentioned that they planned on it being released as separate buyable items. Now that's the part that gives me a little bit of hope here because for all we know, we could be able to buy this 10th specialist or maybe season pass holders get them as free DLC here and things like that. So season pass holders get it free, but you can buy it if you want to. But then for all we know, this could be something where we have the option to buy it but for those that don't want to pay, they have the chance to get him in supply drops. So it would be the option to buy them, but in addition, you'd be able to get him out of supply drops. So maybe it's not necessarily the only way to get him out, but that's the only real other outcome that I could see coming out of this one. A way to reward those who want it, but also a way to keep it moderately fair to those who don't want to pay for it. Now that may come as a bit of a stretch, but I think it's the only other option here that we can maybe hope for. But if the rumor is true, if this whole thing that is maybe blown out of proportion actually does come to be true as 100% legit, that the 10th specialist is only available out of supply drops, well then... 
that course of action, that is going to make everybody, including myself, unbearably bad because, well, at that point, it's no longer the right thing to do, and it's something that the full neglect of the players will then be in full force. So it's something that I hope is not the case. It's something that I want to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. What do you think of this? Do you think it should be supply drops only, which I don't think anybody will agree with here or do you think that it, hopefully we can hold out for some little ray of hope that it might be purchasable as well I would love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below because this is something that is really a controversial topic I'm sure you guys have already seen some content on this here previously in other channels that you guys are subscribed to but this is something that is honestly a really big deal and we might need to talk about here for a little bit, discussing this just a little bit further. So, hopefully it doesn't come to supply drops only. I really am really just hoping it doesn't come to that. But, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like down below if you did enjoy. Once again, my man Carnage Chain going off a six minute quad nuclear. A little bit over that, rather. But still, regardless, that is incredible, insane. Any way that you can put that, it is that. He went absolutely off. He killed it here with this gameplay. So make sure that you go show him some love down there in the description below. Toss him a subscription. Toss him a follow on Twitter. Toss him a like on all his videos. All that stuff. Do it. He totally deserves it. If you guys want to check out my channel, that link is down there in the description below as well. I'm on the road to 30,000 subscribers. So every little bit does help and is, as always, greatly appreciated. But mine has been Espresso. I will see you guys later. Make sure you stick around for the other awesome stuff here. We got DLC 2 right now, either right around the corner or maybe as this is live right now. Now it's live for you guys, but regardless, we got some awesome stuff coming, so stick around for it. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.